What's up guys? Daniel Elias Fishing here. Welcome back to my Fishing Shack. And today, I'm going to give you my five best tips to win your next local bass tournament. As we know, I fish a lot of tournaments. I fish a lot of tournaments in Arizona locally. I've been lucky where I've had some success. And I feel like over the last few years, I really follow the same tried and true methods as I approach tournament day and when I'm on the water. And today, I'm going to share those with you. I'm um, excited to talk to you about what I do. So my number one tip I would tell you right off the bat, before you ever get to the lake, ignore the dock talk. Put it out of your head. I don't care what somebody said they're catching them on. I don't care how deep they say they are. I don't care about what locations people think fish are in. That doesn't matter to me and it shouldn't matter to you because what happens is when you listen to that, you are chasing someone else's bite and you're never going to be able to catch fish the way someone else does at least not successfully or as successful. So ignore that doc talk that you see on the internet, that you read online. You don't need it, right? These are local lakes. We're going to figure it out when we get there, which really brings me to tip number two, and which honestly has been my biggest key to success over the last four or five years, and that is don't pre-fish. Don't practice stay off the lake. And I know that sounds counterintuitive, but I want you to think about this. Most local tournaments are single one day jackpot tournaments. That is, you throw your money in the hat, you go out, the person or the team that weighs in the five biggest fish that day wins the tournament. So you're not looking to see what's a plan, what's a backup plan, how do I put a limit together? That's not how a single day tournament works. A single day tournament is run by catching the five biggest fish you can catch that day. So you don't need a backup plan. Your backup plan is if it doesn't work, you're in trouble, right? But you got to go out there and just fish the conditions. We've all heard it, right? Where you come in at the end of the day and you hear these guys that are like, man, yesterday I had 30 pounds. It, by nine o'clock in the morning, it was so easy. I don't know what happened, but they just weren't biting today. Winning practice does nothing for you in the tournament, right? So what happens is these guys go to a spot, they burn their fish up, they go back there the next day, and they're not there. That's if conditions are the same. But more commonly what happens is something changes, right? Whether that's a weather, weather pattern, whether there's more wind, whether the barometer switches, whether it gets cloudy or it gets sunny. A big one that people don't realize is all of a sudden now you're on the lake on a Saturday and instead of having 30 boats running around, you've got 3,000 boats running around between tournament anglers and pleasure boats and the lake's a lot noisier. The fishing generally is always going to be tougher on a weekend and what you locked into earlier in the week is probably not going to translate on Saturday. So don't bother practicing, right? Don't be the guy that wins practice. That doesn't help you. You want to fish the conditions as they come. So what I like to do is show up at the lake. I literally kind of look around. I say, well, what's the wind doing today? Look at the graph. What's the water temperature? What do I think fish will be doing? And that's how I start fishing. And I start moving around. And if those of you that have seen me fish tournaments, you don't generally see me locked into one area. I move a lot. I'm looking for active fish well before I slow down. And I think that's something that can really help you guys is give up on the practice. Save your money. Stay home. Go to work, right? Make money instead of spending it practicing where a lot of times you're going to shoot yourself in the foot. Um, but number three, and I kind of led into this, is fish the day's conditions. If you see the wind blow into a bank over there, guess what? you probably need to go over there, right? Don't go, well, that's nice and protected over here. Let me get out of the wind because it looks nice. No, the wind's blowing that way. The phytoplankton goes that way. The shad follow the phytoplankton and the bass follow the shad. That's just an example of the conditions, right? 
If you've got a, a falling barometer, clouds are coming in, fish are moving up in the water column, you should probably fish shallow. If it's a very slick, sunny, calm day with no wind, you know those fish are going to be in a negative mood and you're going to have to slow down. And the weight it takes to win probably won't be as high on a day like that. So slow down and fish the conditions, but trust your gut. Don't question it. If your gut tells you to do something, don't second guess it. Don't think about it. Just do it. Just go do it. And you might get there. You might make one cast. You might even not make a cast. That happens to me quite a bit where I stand up and I'm like, this isn't it. Gotta go. Trust your gut. It's super important. Tip number four, probably the most important, fish to win. You have to fish to win that tournament. Don't fish to catch a limit. Don't fish to get a check. You gotta fish to win. Because if you're like, man, I'm going to try to get a limit and then I'm going to look for big fish and it takes you half a day to get a limit, now you only have a half a day to look for big fish. So if you spend the whole day trying to catch big fish, if you get five, you're going to win. There is no more money for finishing halfway down in the field than if you finish in dead last. So what does it matter if you've got a small limit? I'll tell you, it doesn't matter. So generally, when you see my tournament performance, I either do pretty good or really terrible. And I'm okay with that because when I do terrible, it's because I'm fishing to try to win and sometimes it just doesn't work out. A lot of times it doesn't work out. But you're not gonna put yourself in a position to win a tournament if you're not fishing to win. So fish for the biggest fish in the lake from start to finish and don't stop which brings me to my very last tip, and that is to keep your head in the game. You have to stay focused. If you are out there and your day is not coming together, don't give up. Don't transition and say, well, I'll just try to catch three or four or five little bitty ones to save face. It doesn't matter, right? You don't need to save face. You need to win. I can't tell you how many times I've had tournaments where I did horrible all day long and then in the last hour or two or three hours of the day it flips and it changes and you figure it out and I can still win the tournament because I am fishing for the big fish to win and I kept my head in the game. It's so easy to just say you know what this isn't working out I don't have any ideas I give up and you just still throw the same bait down the same bank that you've been doing for the last hour and it's not working. You can't do that. You got to keep your head in the game. You have to always be thinking and you'll find that the times that you're not fully there mentally is when you generally struggle the most. So keep your head in the game. But to summarize, all right, ignore the doc talk. Don't pre-fish. Fish to win. Always fish the conditions and keep your head in the game. And I think that will really, really help you going forward. Let me know what you think, guys. Maybe you totally disagree with me. And that's okay, right? There's not one way that's best for everyone. If you disagree with me, let me know in the comments. If you agree, let me know in the comments, right? I love hearing from you guys. I appreciate all your support. My knee is going to be better like that, and I'm going to see you back on the water here real quick. But thanks for tuning in, liking, and subscribing, and I'll see you on the next one.